Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I say welcome. Hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, call your friend, get on three-way, maybe do a Zoom meeting about tarot. I don't know, maybe that's just something that I can see coming in the near future. Needless to say, if you're returning to the channel, listen, yes, I'm getting those synchronicities. You come here for confirmation because who else is gonna go with you on this journey other than your soul tribe and the people that you share a soul with? Needless to say, I pray that you've sat with your higher self. I know that you have. If you're getting these synchronicities, they are very real. Okay? They are very real. You're being tested on service. How to be of service. Did you get up today and say, who can I pray for? You know how I know this is a real reading? Like, it's always real. But the reason I know it's extra important from spirit is because I have not done one commercial break. <laughs> I didn't explain it to the newcomers because I'm like, look, we ain't got time for that. Shop around, move around, maybe catch a couple of the other videos before this one so that you can get the tutorial on commercial breaks. And that was a commercial break, see? You survived your first commercial break, new covers. Again, like, share, subscribe, share it on Facebook. Listen, the Holy Spirit is real. Oh, listen, the Holy Spirit is real. Yeshua HaMashiach is real. The Ascendant Masters are real. They're telling you, High Priest, is the reason why you're feeling all of this backlash and this chastening from the Most High is because you're being shaped and pruned we need you on the front line you're gonna be the ones to go into the trenches that they talk about in the book of revelations listen if you don't do nothing else you better listen if you don't do nothing else your black ass white ass purple ass green ass Turquoise, rainbow, ass, all the colors in the universe, ass, better listen. This is not a race thing. Listen. This is about your gifts. Okay? If you've seen a dead animal on the side of the road recently, that means something. Why death? Because after death comes the transformation. You're now at the point where you don't fear the death cycle. Because you know in that is something that is leading you closer to the most high. And that's going towards and up, but not back. That's ascending as opposed to descending. Okay, listen, I call upon the highest of white lights. Only the highest of white lights. <sighs> Anything other than the highest of white lights, <laughs> they can't do nothing with us. That's what we're going to say on that today. Listen, even if they got a door open... I see you standing right next to the devil and the devil can't touch you because there's too much, you know, understanding, overstanding of what the Most High wants you to do. And that is to focus on service, divine collective. You're coming out of the gate very, very uh, ebulliently, very, very uh, incredibly, very, very fantastically delicious magically cosmically delicious <laughs> you're coming out as the higher font okay do you understand the pillars here that's divine protection do you see the angel do you see you as the highest above the closest like direct connection to the most high people are like nobody has a direct connection to the most high listen you don't but i do and people are always testing my loyalty to the most high when it comes to that because they're looking at us and they're like, why do they get those gifts? How do they know? How does she know all that? Listen, ain't nobody got time for that. The purpose for the truth is to, is to get an opportunity to be exposed, to be transparent to yourself. So you'll know like you ain't here to do nothing else but master yourself. Take some pressure off. 
That was a commercial break. Listen, the emperor's here, Aries energy. I keep telling y'all that Aries is coming out the gate because the part of the body that Aries represents is the head. You are the head. You are no longer the tail, right? Come on, this is in the scriptures. The promises, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. In the book of Revelations, the most high said, you're going to know me by the spirit that's upon my chosen, my people. They're going to come in the Christ-like energy, the Yeshua HaMashiach type energy. They're coming to free all of their sons, their daughters. Their suns, their moons. <sighs> the emperor represents a leader. The hierophant is Taurus energy. The head is the head representing the most high, the beginning, the big, the big machismo, the creator of all things that goes by many names and many times in many lands. The big kahuna, the alpha and the omega. Why do people keep trying to put the most high in a box and chest and, and, and chastise while they're chastising the chosen. Or so it seems, because we are under the greatest chastening, which is the one that you want. You're looking forward to the death, the transformation, and the rebirth. You no longer are, are, are confused about death. You're not afraid of it. As Yeshua HaMashiach overcame death in the physical body. The message in that is that he had been enlightened because three days later, he rose again. What is that letting you know? The spirit doesn't die. It transcends into another dimension closer to the most high. And some of us are at mastery stage. If there were levels and there were 12 was the highest, you would be on a 13. That's a very taboo number for a lot of people that aren't chosen. Why do you think they don't have the 13th floor on an elevator? They're superstitious. Come on, y'all. We're, we're, we're the number 13. We're the anomaly. We're the ones that they knew were coming. They made movies about us like Matrix and Avatar. <laughs> Y'all don't want to go that deep! Didn't I just tell you? You saw me shuffle the cards. The high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. Your divine ancestors are very amplified, very determined, very, very, very ebullient is the word of the day. The high priestess, intuition. And in that, it would only be right under this Gemini energy that the magician is rearing its beautiful alchemy type of a head, letting you know that you have dominion over the elements. You are the wind, you are fire, you are earth, you're all of those things. And the most high is backing you Leave no doubt. No doubt. Ha! You're coming out as the higher font. I'm being guided to take the high priestess, so I'll be obedient in doing that. I'm not going to be a, um, really surprised, honestly. I will act surprised when the empress comes out to greet the emperor. Can we just do a quick recap? First card on the board is the higher font. That was the fact. You saw me sh shovel the guards, excuse me, and call upon the most high God. And the Most High said, and the angel said, divine angel said, this is what we want the divine collective to know. You are the magician. You're manifesting a new world of peace, love, and light. It's beautiful. Okay. The children are our future. I just heard. Got a little Whitney Houston energy tapping in. Ooh. The children are our future. Listen, the Hierophant is practitioner. The magician, you got what it takes. The intuition represents the head. This represents a leader, the emperor, okay? Come on. Psychic abilities. Using your gifts for the greater good of humanity. I just said intuition. The moon is here. Thank you, spirit. I love when spirit just confirms it. That's why I always say, if you ain't said with your highest self before coming here, baby, you might as well turn your video off, my friend. And go take a little siesta. <laughs> This is about being attached, attraction, by way of joy, love, and light. Listen, you broke free. This is all spirit is saying. This is a bit redundant. Somebody needs to know that they could be having just a quick, you know, feeling of guilt. Why? Because this energy comes, it ensues when you are guilty. 
If you accept the Most High's forgiveness and love, then why are you suffering? There's a violation of the spiritual law. If you have yourself in a self-imposed imprisonment, you're going to need to accept the Most High has forgiven you. And that although you're not worthy of it, you're very grateful. The Six of Pentacles is very fair. It's giving me fair energy. <laughs> it's all I can say. New people, if you're still here, then that means that you've made it to the truth. The Ace of Swords is here. There was something here for you that needed to be confirmed. Somebody's trying to break the case on a little scandal. Okay. I don't know. A spiritual scandal. The Most High says, I send my helpers. The helping hand of the Most High are the chosen. This is how the Most High is in the earth. You're going to know my chosen by their spirit. They're going to carry my spirit of kindness, love, right? That doesn't mean that we're weak. Because if a war has to be waged in order to have peace, then so shall it be. Nothing in the Bible was ever, you know, gotten without some type of a battle. And there were spiritual casualties. But we've overcome death. So what is that? What is death, really? Right? You're going to transcend. Listen, this is a very, very intense energy. The Two of Wands represents two ways, two options. Okay? Page of Swords is something good coming through. And you're thinking on these things. This sword is giving me mental. High priestess energy, magician energy. As a leader, you're thinking as a leader now. You're putting, you're putting your desires to the side and you're putting the most high first. And then the most high is coming back and meeting your desires as the magician. <laughs> you're manifesting what you want by, by putting your desires to the side and allowing the most high just to use you to be of service. This is what I hear. And in that comes great reward. You're manifesting a beautiful life. You're manifesting the emperor energy. Somebody that's mastered themselves. You are an ascended master walking the earth. The helping hand of the most high, we're required. We are the helping hand of the most high in the physical world. In the 3D, we are the hand, right? Why do I say that? Because collectively, you got your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. Listen, they all have to work together for the greater good of the hand. This is the collective. <laughs> Listen, but it's connected to an energy in the, in the atmosphere that, that, that it just manifests destiny. It's obedient to the elements <laughs> that help hand of the most high is you. That's why we're being sent to go amongst the brethren and pray for them. This is what you've been getting ready for your entire lifetimes. Leo energy coming through real strong. Shout out to all my Leos because I think your transformation is so essential. You can't even see what is going to happen and it's magnificent. Spirit is just getting you war ready. Why? Because we don't need you passing out at the first demon you see. Okay. You could get called to go to somebody's house to... Cast out some energy, right? This stuff is going to get deep. You got spirits that are bound to houses that are haunted that don't want to leave. Guess who they're going to call? The meek of the earth. Why do they call us the meek? Because they see the most high is with us. So they're like, we want to follow the God that they're following, which is the most high God. That's why. They see us. They see the works, right? They, they feel the love. They feel the healing. They're seeing the most high move in their lives by way of prophecy, in a new age type of a way. <laughs> Definitely. Speaking the scriptures in the middle of what is considered to be taboo esoteric energy. But we understand the larger scheme of things really on, on greater levels. And we don't really boast of that. It just It's just what it is. We just know. Okay. My environment. Woo. Our energy is changing the world. This is the world card. This is, again, closing out those death cycles. There's going to be some casualties. We're praying for people to really come into the light. To get rid of all this garbage, whatever they got going on. You got people addicted to reality shows. You know, they're addicted to uh, drama because that's all they watch. So then that's what they become. Right? Yeah, you got people in the world still idolizing other people, worshiping other people. 
you know, making offerings to statues. Yeah, it's a, it's a dark time. The Five of Cups gives me death. The Five of Cups is giving me mourning. Hence the fact that if we don't do this, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be. It's going to be a heavy regret in the world. I just said the Ace of Cups was five fingers and here comes the Five of Cups. There's going to be some casualties. Everybody's not going to wake up. But it won't be because of us. We will have done what we're supposed to do as the chosen. Do your part. Stand at your post. That's my great-great-grandmother, Iberia, who was also a high priestess. And she wrote a little book <laughs> called Stand at Your Post. She's a very beautiful Cherokee Indian, beautiful lady. Two long ponytails. Shout out to my great-grandmother whose blood runs through my veins. I will get the job done, great-grandmother. She was a high priestess. And that little book found me on a day that I needed it the most. And I said, oh my God, I love my ancestors. She says, stand at your post. Stand, no matter what happens, be about your father's work. That is the translation. Be unmoved, be unbothered, just as your father in heaven is. The chariot is a moving forward willpower type of an energy. But again, this is collectively. We're doing this. We are the helping hand of the most right high. Of God, I was about to say right hand. Yeah, at the right hand is what I feel. You're going to have to separate what it is that you want out of these relationships. Put it on the shelf. Burn it. Get rid of it. You can't take it where you're going because you're about your father's work. Well, all of this tapped in energy... There can be no abuse of power. You have to use it for the greater good of humanity. Even if you're just somewhere and you're praying for somebody. Today, ask the Most High, who do you need me to pray for? If you don't have the money to get a candle, just get one white candle. If we do that collectively, do you understand the energy that we're putting into the ethers to draw in more love and understanding so that everybody eats in the world? There should be no more five of pentacles. Not on a physical level, the Spirit is saying this is why our abundance is coming in. It's a game of giving and receiving. You know, you got people watching people dance on the red carpet. What they're wearing. Oh, what are you wearing, Rihanna? This is blah, 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 blah. Listen, I love you, Rihanna. I know you're doing something for the world. I see it. But there shouldn't be anybody in the United States of America and or the planet hungry. Nobody should be in the five of pentacles. Nobody should be begging for bread. The red carpet is nice, but there's people in Syria that need clean water. This is what the Divine Collective is going to do. Shout out to my beautiful sister. I hope she's watching. Who reminded me about how the Divine Collective, we should put all of our money together and buy some land. <laughs> They're not going to give you your 40 acres and a mule. You're going to have to take it. And you know how? Because the ancestors came back to make it so. Look at these children. They are your ancestors that have returned. <laughs> We're the John the Baptist energy. We're preparing people. We're telling them, repent. The forces of nature is about to rip this mug up. And y'all going to have to start all over. The ancestors are here by way of spirit. Look at these babies. They came back. These old souls and these little babies. What? Okay, listen. The sun is here. Leo energy. This is your joy. This is your happiness. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Focusing on service. I just wanted to get this little short message out. I love you so much. 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 I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to start those readings for the people that got the special of $33. Oh, my nose is itching. My third eye is open. Oh, it's the Kundalini. The enlightenment, my nose is itching, y'all. We are going through a mass ascension and we are ascending in a way that I'm telling you, we got some divine interception. We got other light beings that are watching us at a high intelligent level in the earth. Ascending, cutting away certain things from our diets. Come on, y'all. This is what it is. Anyway, listen, I love you for sentimental reasons and so many other things. Until the next video. As always, peace be with you.